Hello, welcome to Walkthrough Wednesday, where we play single-player campaign-style games every Wednesday on the Twitch stream, uh, twitch.tv slash omghjp. This week we're playing Firewatch. This is our first playthrough, our blind playthrough of Firewatch. Uh, I know nothing about it, never really seen anything other than like screenshots and wallpapers that people have made of the game, so I'm definitely excited to play it. Uh, it looks like it's a pretty quick playthrough, so we'll see if, uh, if it's a one-stream type deal. Uh, if you're interested in catching these live, uh, stop over in the Twitch on Wednesdays. Uh, but we also stream uh, Friday, Saturday, Sundays, Mondays. So if you want to come and check any of that stuff out, all of that information is down in the description of the video. Uh, if you enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like the content. Uh, join the Discord if you want to talk about the stream or talk about the videos. Or if you're interested in the playthrough and you want to talk about the game that we're playing. Uh, that's all... It's all good stuff. It's all fun. So be, f be sure to check it out. Uh, we're going to jump into the game. So we will see what Firewatch is all about. Brand new game. Brand new empty game slot. Let's try it. See what we get. Hopefully my volumes are all adjusted properly. We shall find out very quickly, I assume. Hello, Three Reasons. How are you? Happy Wednesday. Why does this water feel so warm? I thought I filled that with some nice crisp cool water. Apparently I did not. I'm liking the aesthetic already. The nice purple and pink matches my room. I enjoy it. You see Julia. I'm sorry? Oh. I was supposed to click on that. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professor and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. Uh, you, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So what's your, you know, major? You, you're pretty. Let's start with the major. We'll work into the prettiness. You slur your wor the word major and it smells like cores. You give an awkward smile. Uh, evolutionary biology she asks and I'm a professor cool you reply what's yours she asks she sniffs the air toxicology question mark uh, was that a burn you ask she says definitely worried she hurt your feelings she asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger one week later you are Julia's boyfriend um So left click to touch objects. Pick up my backpack. All right. Um, cool. Is this mine? This is a cool truck. Check this out. I like this. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. Why do I feel like this is moving so quickly? You move in. You share an apartment near the school with the view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink, you drink beer just about everywhere. Life is good. Okay. Julia wants to get a dog. I would love to. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with, with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. You adopt the Beagle and she na she names him Bucket. You adopt the Shepherd and name him Mayhem. We're going to get the Beagle. Because I like the name Bucket. Bucket's a good dog and a week later you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. Oh, I love this story already. Ah! makes me so happy 1979 you talk about you talk out on the deck it's summer 9 30 p.m and the heat still radiates off the high desert what do you think about kids she asks Ooh, this is getting deep already kids you're not very smart or good at much uh i'm saying if you have if you and i have some a couple little idiots that would be pretty good one day why rush that would be pretty good 
still a better love story than Twilight. It sure is. It makes me happy. In that case, she would probably we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that. You say these kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best if their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Did I already get my backpack? I mean, it's not in the truck, I guess. No fireworks. Do not forget to check in. All right, let's walk out on this trail. This get the so the only thing I really know about this game is that the art is like the the art style is really cool. The animation style is cool. I like the color palette a lot. So I'm really excited just to like experience the environment. Uh, it's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad, you ignore her. I ignore her, probably. You don't touch each other all night. The next day, you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her, in, ha ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. Uh, you make you make some coffee and go to work. So th is today that day? No. Jul Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants for her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. I would probably frolic. Very nice. Look how, like, just this right here. Just sitting here and looking at this is so pretty. I'm jazzed. I'm ready to go. Two, for two forks fire lookout. Eight miles more still. Spacebar to climb over obstructions. Okay, simple enough. Pretty, beautiful, I love it. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Uh, bucket gets kicked. Uh, fuck, dog, Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. Uh, you scare him away, you beat his goddamn face in. I would probably just scare him away because I'm too much of a pussy to like actually beat the shit out of somebody. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and you threaten to kill him. You manage to scare off, scare off all three. Wait, you manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from the day this day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984, plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Waylaid? What is it? That's a word? I didn't know that was a word. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. I, would, I guess I would try and talk her into commuting. Because it seems unfair to expect her not to take the job that she wants. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth you don't want to move to connecticut she says that'll be hard but she'll do it if you won't move you tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants she agrees she flies back to boulder three times each semester julia is sent home from yale on paid leave after having an episode uh she lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research uh, she didn't remember that she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Oh my god, please don't make this a cancer story. She was found crying in the stairwell. 
You say that maybe you guys should talk to somebody about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, you are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. This story is going to be really sad, isn't it? I just have a, a feeling. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, it's so good. Oh no, please don't do this. I don't want the dog to die either. Why hit me with all of this right up front? Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. Julia's affection, uh, or sorry, Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on a permanent medical leave. Some days you get to Jul get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn ch children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell you tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility. You're determined to take care of your, her yourself. God, this story is like, it's already setting me up to like, ball my eyes out and we're like, 10 minutes in. Ooh, look at the deer. Or the elk, I guess it probably was. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. You trust that she'll sleep like a rock. You go to the same bar at the boring end of the Pearl, of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple of nights a week. You look forward to those nights. One night, you're stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a .10 and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. They tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Enter the lookout tower. We can do that. Just gonna take a second here. I'm sure we're gonna see a lot of this throughout the game, but man. There's something about this art style just like makes my brain so happy.
turn on the power. Generator switch. Well, this is like a, tower. a cozy little spot. Guess we'll grab the radio. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Uh, hold left shift to activate the radio. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that... I'm just gonna turn it up a little bit, because I feel like it's probably just a touch quiet. Maybe I don't know, we'll try like sixty five. We were at fifty. Let's try like sixty five and see if Oh my god, you're not gonna let me choose sixty five. Oh, there we go. This is what the guy said on the phone. So what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get Okay, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit more because I don't I don't know that there's gonna be a ton of loud sounds in this game. I was just worried that the music and stuff was gonna be like blaring. Get away from something. So what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then can I sleep forever? <laughs> forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Uh, you've killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling against your mom. Nobody back home can stand you. Okay, we'll go with rebelling uh, against your mom. You're probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids by the sound of your voice at least 15 years ago. You come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? <laughs> well, she also says I fuck immature men, but... <laughs> In my defense, who wouldn't want a 28-year-old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly? In I bed? love it. I love Me. it. I'm going now. <laughs> Just a second. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh. Is that it? Close. That's it? Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be fun. I'm enjoying it already. Day one. Here we go. Ooh, we get to like typewrite stuff. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Uh, I guess I should look around at least a little bit. Oh, cool. This is so lame, but, like, just the the control for how you can, like, investigate it. I don't know. It's, it's kind of cool. Neat. I, I wonder if I actually need any of this, right? Like, huh. Glass cleaner. It's so lame that, but like, just the wrist action makes it's just really cool. What happened to the puppy cam? Uh, I think I well, I think when we talked about it, I wasn't gonna turn it on on Wednesdays. Just because we're re-uploading these on YouTube, I was trying to keep stuff like as clutter-free as possible. Coffee percolator. Oh, don't throw that. Put back. Can I use it? You called Frank Clutter? Yeah, I do that from time to time. Alright, let's uh, see what I got. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Wow, we. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, 6? Six? 6.45. Whoops. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Yep. Okay, yeah, I see it. 
This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne. Ah. That's a spot. You guessed it. Fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. <laughs> Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Uh, which way's west? Are those fucking fireworks? And to use- Oh, yeah, yeah. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. Uh, you need to get down there no. right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set him straight. Like, kick the shit out of him? Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Oh, well, okay. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. 1234, okay. Secure. Shut up. <laughs> I love the banter of this game so much. How do I... Can I, like, move this? Okay, I guess not. So we're just going to have to go out and we're going to go west. Towards those fireworks. Okay, M to read the map. Uh, right click to zoom in. I need to go this way. Put our map away. I don't feel like there's like a sprint button, but I guess like you wouldn't really be running around in the woods when you're by yourself. Wait, where was the supply box that I was supposed to get? Was that on my map? Oh, 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 I see it. I see it. <sighs> this would be kind of a cool job, though. Just being, like, out in nature... Hanging out would be cool. I guess we'll have to, like, save our reservations, though. So are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. Don't take all the good stuff. Copy information from the map. Map updated. Nice. What does it say? Hey man, hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked hiking in the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. All right. Oh, I guess I probably didn't want to eat that. Oops. What's the pine cone for? Okay, we'll just leave that in there. All right. Uh, fireworks were. Sounds like it's coming from this way. trying to like I think I'm getting closer sounds like it's getting slightly louder oh R to juggle, juggle running does that make sense definitely getting closer
Oh, this must be the part where I'm going to need my rope. Attach rope to the hook. Space bar to repel. Let's get it. I'm just saying when he threw that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that's not good. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for it's one hell of a supply of fireworks. I mean, they definitely, uh, they definitely went all out with their fireworks supply this year. I don't have any more rope, right? Is it this way? Uh, I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Hmm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. West toward the lake. Um, wait, wait, wait. Okay. So I'm headed in the right direction. Hold E to clean up. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not the maid. <laughs> you are the maid. It's your job to take care of nature. Only you can can do those things. Oh, there's backpacks and stuff here. Oh shit, ferret or Irish. Yeah, we'll we'll save that for later. Confiscate. Yep. Clean that up. Yeah, we'll we'll keep the whiskey for sure. Nothing better to do when you're all alone in a big fire watch tower. What's up with these bags? They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Fair enough. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? What if they're Won't that naked? That'd be exciting. Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. I found a bra. Huh. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are. Uh, Panties. There are what? panties. I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? <laughs> There's a. <laughs> yes? Oh, I love it. There are two naked ladies out here. It's about Can to be a good. That? Come on. I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's. You know. Two? Yeah. This guy's yeah, creepy. You probably have a tiny dick. Chelsea, it's my boombox. Can we go? L let's just go to the other side of the lake or something. No, totally. Don't pull any more shit or you're fucked, all right? Don't threaten us. Yeah, who the hell are you, creep? Um, he's just one of those lonely guys who likes to boss people around. Yeah. Why they can't say panties. Damn thing about me. 
we know you're a peeping Tom. What? How long are you been standing over there? Oh my God, is that what you are? Barf me out. Barf me yeah. out. Excuse me? Wait, how are you just like, are you guys just sitting behind that rock now? Hey, that go okay? It went fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. Oh my god, is it gonna- I thought it was gonna give me the option to keep them, and I was about to be like, that's creepy. Okay, so now we gotta figure out a way back. Um... Man, I don't know if there's- oh, there's a medicine wheel? What does that even mean? This is gonna be interesting. a nice little camping spot though like of all the places that you could pick that's that's definitely a good spot it's weird that they don't have a tent though hey i'm back near that big rock outcropping but not sure how to get back i'd head west back towards the lake and then turn north towards the canyon oh oh okay so i gotta go back towards the lake and then north towards the canyon so, oh, okay. God, that seems like a hell of a way to walk around. There was even a sign that told me to go that way and I didn't look at it. This seems sketchier than the other route and I don't have a rope anymore. Like, there, it feels like there's going to be a snake or something. The snake's going to pop out and get me. So, I have a bit of a confession to make. What the hell is that? What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. And you thought it was a good idea to get into your um, love life, I guess you'd call it? Huh. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Uh, well, here's the next question. Where am I at in relation to my lookout? Oh, man. Um, I didn't realize that this was going to require navigation. What the fuck was that? Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Oh, good. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Oh believe? my god. Okay. Copy this map information down. Oh, 
Oh, I'll take the flashlight, for sure. Oh, it's dead. Ah. Oh, there it goes. Nice. Put that back in there. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. Hello? It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no! Oh, God. Hey! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. Damn it. <laughs> I love the dialogue in this game. Uh, it needs keys. I think I can punch it enough that it'll open. Open, 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 open. Okay, fine. Say fuck it, you're a grown man, you can do whatever you want. Guess I can turn my flashlight back off. Don't want to waste the batteries. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? <laughs> Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is okay. it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. <laughs> Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. <laughs> it's... It's outside, and people come from all over. The fucking... Oh, it's so good. That guy's still there? It's kind of cool, because it seems like there's a few different routes you can take to get to and from different places. Because there were still switchbacks you could take back there. Guess where am I at now in comparison to things? I'm taking the shortcut. Okay, this might be, a, this is getting a little sketchier now. I keep waiting for there to be like a quick time action where one of these rocks breaks and I'm gonna have to like press a button so I don't fall to my death. Oh, Jesus. trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Is this my tower? Ah! Oh, this is my outhouse. His name is Forrest Brines. Is there anything on the baseball that I need? No, oh, I thought that was actually gonna like go down in the hole. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom. You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Yeah. Well, number one, at least. And 
And uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Oh, good. I'm so proud of her. Can I set up forest somewhere? Wait, what? Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let Whoa. the forest service know what happened. Wait, how did you get stood back up? You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. Okay, I put in a call. Uh, that was, that was fast. fast. Yeah, well, do you have any idea who could have done this? Maybe the guy in the Maybe canyon? The guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in okay. the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Well. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? Yeah, because I'm I a grown-ass man. It. Perfect. Keep that attitude up, and you'll have an excellent summer. Oh, day two. And we're not gonna finish cleaning up the cabin or the tower. I can't I can't sleep in a messy house. Doesn't work for me. Wake up. Hey, wake up. Hello. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Uh, can I fix, can I fix it? fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna wanna go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Okay. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, no, I, I don't like Hank. You don't like but Hank? Thanks rhymes with Hank. Ah, it does. No, it doesn't. Okay, alright. Yeah, I, I picked up the fireworks from those girls. Uh, it was in their campsite, and I, I grabbed them. confiscated them uh, okay so the outhouse was this way which meant that that trail to go back down is also this way yeah we'll go this way Well, we'll try and go this way. See how that goes. Is there fall damage? Can I go? Can I drop too far? You'd think you would just climb down. You know that seems a little bit more civilized, but if you want to jump off cliffs? I guess do your thing. How are you liking the game? It's a ton of fun. It's hilarious. The the, uh, the dialogue is super funny. But I'm definitely enjoying it a lot. It's beautiful to look at. The story in the beginning already made me sad, so I'm hoping that that doesn't come back to haunt me. Oh, it's 
actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. Hello, Sir Nami. Older, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, you know, um, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aww, oh, that's a good name. Bucket's such a, a good name. Good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, yo. I don't think so. Why? Hey, yo. Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. What? I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. I thought she didn't have a phone line. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Huh. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. She stepped away. She's annoyed. Oh, that's interesting. Um... So this is the phone line, right? That I need to check? Um... So I guess I just need to walk along it and see if I see if there's, uh, there's any broken bits. Everything looks good here. Um, she's not there, so I guess I'm just... I, I don't think there's any point in reporting anything back until we see if there's actually a line down somewhere. Uh, what does this say? Okay. I'm just going to check out this area real quick. I... I'm not going to radio about the old outhouse, because that seems kind of silly. And also, she's mad at me, because I asked her about that call. Uh, okay, all this looks fine. Uh, I don't see anything... Oh, I see. It looks like it's down up there. Yeah, that that up there looks like it's is where it's broken. Um, trying to see if there's like a easy way over there. There's a cache up there too. Uh, okay. So. Yep, there's the downed line. Let me open this cache real quick, and then I guess I'll try and call her. One, two. I love that they made all the passwords the same. So you don't have to mess around with, like, searching for passwords anymore. Copy down our map information. Beautiful. What's this note say? Whoop. Dave, hey -o, I got your note about needing to talk, and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping the grad students, but I guess not. I don't know how I could really help anyway. We're co-workers, you know. Amigos, professionals. If you need someone to throw back a case with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy, but, it's not if, but I'm not great with life stuff. You get it. Later on, Ron. Uh, is there anything in here? Oh, what's that? Oh, nice. Can I take this back to my cabin? Guess maybe not. Does give me an option to keep it. Oh no, don't litter. Back in the box. No, stop littering. Into the box. It's not in the box. Into the box. All right, that's close enough. Can I pick up anything else in here? Oh, 
Wait. I mean, this it's just a board. It's technically wood. That's okay. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. Uh, inspect the communications line up close? How the hell am I supposed to do that? Um... So I go west and then back north, is that right? So like I need to go this way and then it curves back around north. Maybe maybe I can just keep going this way. Uh, maybe not. This looks like a dead end. We're gonna have to go down into the, the thing here, I think. Long drop down. Yikes. Oh, nice. We didn't die. I thought for sure that was gonna end in like a cracked ankle or something. You heckin' kids in your beer cans? All right. Oh, another long drop. Here we go. Fingers crossed. Okay. All right, we're good. I know I've said it about 45 times since we started. This game is so pretty, though. I don't know that you should grab that. I mean, I know it's a telephone line, but... Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. It's snipped clean through, and there's a bunch of beer cans out here. The same beer those girls were drinking. They also left us a... A message. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? Yeah, I mean, no kidding. What if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. Is there other That's towers out here? Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the oh. hell out of them. Oh. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Huh. I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. That seems <laughs> super, super Thanks. not okay. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. Kay. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Do you see anything from yours? Like, you know, the clues as to where they could be? <laughs> Clues. I really like your enthusiasm for mystery. I'm just yeah. doing my job. I like it. I, I do. I just, I, I can't wait for you to give these girls a piece of your, our, mind, minds, collective. Minds, collective. No, no clues. I, I can't see anything from here. I'm just saying, if it's two teenage girls drinking this amount of beer, I don't know how they're actually walking around. I would drink like two of these beers and you'd have to pick me up off the ground. Maybe I'm a teenage girl. Maybe that's what I'm learning. Uh, I need to go back towards the camp. Holy crap. Um. So do I go west or do I go towards the lookout? Hmm. 
That takes me back south. Probably want to go this way, though, I think. Well, wait a second. I didn't see any beer cans this way. Maybe I do need to go the other way. Guess I should check first before I run too far. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm hmm Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. Okay, so I need to... I don't have a tool to actually clear that, so I gotta find, I guess, a machete or something. So then we'll hop down this one... There's a supply drop. It's 0.2 miles away. Maybe we should go check out the supply drop. Maybe it'll have uh, more details for our map. Ooh, this is a different colored box. He's got pale legs, we're twins. They won't be pale by the end of the summer out here fire watching. You just need a good out outside job. Work on your tan. Triplets? Oh, this is all empty. That sucks. Um, okay, so where are we at now in comparison to where we need to be? Oh, we went. We gotta go up down the other way. Can you guys see Randy? No, I guess not. Not really. Oh, wait, there's like a bag or something right here. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Oh, God. I got a camera and some rope. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Was he a lookout? A lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. Oh. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Okay. 
All right, we got some more map information. We'll copy that down. Uh, we'll grab this note like we have with the others. Guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man, Ron. Uh, I went, I went up to check on the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual. Uh, so I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in the hammock? I'm starting to think that the finest service, uh, starting to think the forest service only picks the deranged and the perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast Deb on the spot. Fossilized claw. Cool. Why can't I take this? Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Oh, really? Okay, I can't grab the... Oh, I can. That goes back in nature. All right, guys, it is five o'clock. I'm gonna go run and feed the doggos, and then we'll uh, we'll continue on. Be right back. Feed me. No, feed me. Smile. Okay, so we need to. Um. Okay, there's grapple points down there. I'm guessing we need to keep heading this way, like back towards the back side of the lake, which is west. Oh, that's good. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah, it looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh, that's weird. Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Mm, well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. Yeah, I, I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. Is there a way around it? Like a gap in it, maybe? I guess I, I can go south and then cut back over west. See if that works out for us. Hey, sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Yeah, it kind of did. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So... Did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I'm actually married. But you're here. Uh. Everything's, everything's fine. fine. Just, you know, we're taking some time apart, getting some fresh air. A little change. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we can just leave it at that. Thanks. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm. You're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Well, that's true. So I gotta see if I can find... Something that they left laying around. Oh, that Victoria's Secret pose? It's so good. Can I, do you think I can open my journal? I'm having a hell of a time getting this I fucking not. flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me? Flapjack? You know, like a loser. A chotch. A chotch? I really don't, but I do now. 
Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. <laughs> We're going to have to start using Flapjack now, guys. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful. I like it. Hey, Flapjack. So now we got Forehead, Dink, and Flapjack. We could write a book of insults here pretty soon. Uh, okay, so I've been here? Oh. Oh. I got way turned around. Holy crap. Um, okay, so I just need to go... Oh wait, there's uh there's grapple points over here. And I got lots of rope now. Where was that? Oh, it's the grapple points that we came down. Never mind. Wait, what is that? That's weird. Mm. Okay, so I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? <sighs> I reckon so. Probably. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Five Mile Creek. Now keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Five Mile Creek? Where the hell is that? I don't even see that on here. Oh. Because it's way the hell down there. Wow, we. Okay. We we got we got some moves we gotta make. Here we go. I won't lie, I kind of wish I had a mini-map, but I understand why there isn't a mini-map. It would be really not very immersive if you had a mini-map, but... What the hell is that? It must be the wind, but it sounds like there's so you know, things rustling you about. My bounds earlier, when you brought up your wife. I know you didn't. You were just... Making conversation, I appreciate it. So, tell me about her, if you want. She's actually very sick. I shouldn't be here. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, true. Sure. I kind of agree with her. I, I know, well, yeah, well, yes and no. Obviously, if it was my wife that was sick, I don't think I'd want to be out here necessarily. It would be a really cool job, though. I don't know what a Firewatch person would actually get paid, but it'd be a, like a really rad summer job when you're young. Why, how does he always get the rope just the right length? It's like magic. He knows just the size it needs to be. I'm down in Thunder Canyon. I'm not seeing that smoke anymore. Oh, it's still burning away. Try heading west from where you are. If you loop past the lake, there should be a trail that'll take you further south. Thanks, that helps. All right. Heading west. This seems like a nice little trickle, but also like a place that you could get stu stuck in a flash flood real quick. Oh, 
there's music now? What? I wasn't ready for that. It actually kind of startled me. see it now. This definitely looks like it's coming from that same campsite. Here's the lake. Can I climb up this? No. I'm just kind of back in the weeds over here. Maybe I need to go, can I go around the front of the lake? There's so many nature noises happening. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's, like, um, dementia. Whoa, how old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, fuck is right. What was it like when you guys found out? We were scared shitless. We went straight to the doctor after her first spell or whatever. They diagnosed her and we were both just very scared. Can't really tell when Julia is scared. She just gets quiet. She uh, was very quiet. Okay, where am I at now? Whoa, I'm like way out yonder. Okay. I'm gonna like find an actual trail. I feel like I'm wandering off into the weeds too much. Hello. It's me. I love that this rope that we found in a backpack hanging from a tree is much stronger than the rope they provided us in our lookout tower before we, uh, or no, I guess it was in one of the supply boxes, but either way, it's still better than the rope that we started with. Hey, we found another supply box. That's that stuff I do like. Open says me. What? What? One, two. Trace. Quattro. You mean your boxes that your man Henry's leaving open? He sure is. He don't give a heck about nobody. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. What, grizzlies won't kill an a-hole? <laughs> don't have a taste for unapologetic pricks? Nope. It's why we haven't lost a ranger in 11 years. So, you don't think anything bad happened to those guys? Yeah, I guess it's possible, but we usually find evidence of stuff like that. For yeah. instance, if you were to be hunted down and torn to shreds, I'm sure someone would come across a bloody beard and shredded pair of ugly cargo hey, shorts. Hey, leave I my like cargo shorts. shorts alone. I'm sure you do, Henry. Uh... I like that, yeah, you're right. He hasn't put a single well, lock back on any of these boxes. I guess they are all empty, though, when we're done. Lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? Huh. I, I didn't. didn't. 
Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you wow. You're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things. It's actually really also, cool. Uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. It's actually very, very interesting. Whoa, the colors just shifted so cool. Wow. This makes me want to go camping. I haven't been on a nice camp out in a while. All right, we found another beer can. Wait. This is going back the way we came, isn't it? Do I need to stay along the water? Maybe not. Go past on the camping? I love camping. I'm an Eagle Scout though, though, so I grew up, like, we did one camp out a month, and then summer camp once a year, and then we would do high adventure trips and stuff, so... I, I've done a lot of, a lot of camping. I haven't done, any, like, almost any as an adult, but, um, I, I, I definitely would like to. Okay, I definitely need to cut back this way. There's a campsite. So this is the stream. There's gotta be a camp, like, maybe the, I just crossed the stream? Maybe it's on the other side of the stream. I definitely haven't seen the smoke. in a bar mm, the birthplace of modern romance I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student not a prof prof that's me Heckin I profs. did make the first move though oh you were brave I was drunk huh oh wait wait there's a thing uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Uh, found the campfire. Heck you, campfire. Stomp, stomp. I have entered the teen zone. The teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. You found them? Where are they? No idea. The thing is, their entire campsite is wrecked. What happened? Honestly, it, it looks like it could have been a bear. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I, I need to crap. be honest with you. If I find a dead body out here, I'm going to be sick. Well, don't yak. Just look around and let me know what you find. Actually, you've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just ah. in case. Yeah, good thinking. Well, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone. I, I guess a note. Well, what's it say? Apparently, they called the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my God! Well, I hope you're fucking happy. We're you? leaving. We're going to find the police. I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. Yeah, fair. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. That's but fair. They're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Hey, Amen. Yeah, me too. Uh, I hope you're... Oh, I didn't get to read it. I had it up on the screen forever and I didn't read it. I was trying to wait for their dialogue to finish so I wasn't talking over it. <sighs> All right, day three. So 
I need to get more boards? Is that what I'm learning? Hey, Henry. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? <laughs> because I'm horribly superficial. ASL, baby. ASL. Uh. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. Yep. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Tuxedos as often as possible. Oh, really? You yep. bet. How I'm fancy. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. Boulder. It is the peak of high society. Mm, good to know, Dale, yes. Mm, good to now know. Now tell me about pieces. your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh. Uh, I got a broken nose. It's not bad or anything, but yeah. How'd you do that? Your illustrious boxing career? <laughs> I wish. No, I, a guy was drunk and jumped on my back, and I slipped and ate a parking meter. Eesh. Ouch. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh. Don't, <laughs> don't answer. I'm going to do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. Steely. They're, uh, they're steely. Cold, hard stare. Hmm. Like a Siberian husky. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. It's definitely how I would describe Don't myself. Steely eyes. Why is there random, like, these boards definitely weren't here before. I just don't understand how there ended up being random boards around the campsite. They just happened to be the right width to board up, to board up the window. Wow, he's got a hell of a swing on him. Just a single tap on each nail? What a monster. I got that window all patched up. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay. okay, I'm ready. I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. You know, Actually, I'm gonna hike around for a while before I really put my nose to the grindstone. Oh, yeah, you do that. Okay. Okay, now I'm ready. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's get to work. How are those precious few seconds of jobless freedom? Oh, magical. What is that? Good. Now get to work. That's weird. Whoa, day nine. Holy shit, we fast forwarded. Ah, <clears throat> oh, yeah, nice sandwich. What a day. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Lovely, actually. <laughs> well, it was. Well, I was. Hardy har. Ugh, I'm finally paying for all those years of giving my bosses attitude. <laughs> Look, um, I called with bad news. 
Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. Oh no. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have well, seen Well, that's it. depressing. Jesus. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? It's worth I, mentioning. I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. It is pretty. Day 15. All right, we're moving along now. We're going to be done with this summer job before we knew it. What if this is the rest of the game? Just random radio updates where you're just hanging out. Henry. Get a quick call. Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. What? You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Oh, mm, I am. How did my wife get the radio? Are you having a nice time? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. Weird. Oh my, day 33? What is happening? We just lost a whole month. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat and... How's the game? It's fantastic. This isn't life miserably unfair. Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and... I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You it's, know my sister eats it's got some of the best dialogue in a game I've six. ever She's, like, really experienced. Precise about it. It's super, It'd be super good. Job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Uh, I am going... Okay. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and... All I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. Yeah. I hope you're doing okay. I thought it was definitely you know, a little weird. To her. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. Excited to watch it. So I saw him in a bit. Okay, drive camper. safe. Don't twitch and drive, please. We dated for almost five years. <clears throat> I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly, and I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to. Get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and... Snowy. Yep, it's, uh, it's snowing out this way. It's not super bad, but it's definitely snowy. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied, and 
told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So, I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Huh. So I wonder what ha you probably have the option to take the other ones. I wonder what happens if you do. Day 64. Oh, shit. Got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm going to call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. Oh, wow. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Oh, okay. What about Delilah? So, no ideas, huh? Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> I was kidding. Mm, no, you were not. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah Fire. Oh. Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June Fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I was gonna pick Flapjack, so but I thought the Delilah dialogue would be funnier. <laughs> What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. This guy's I creepy, right? My sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd that, like it there. A margarita the size of my head sounds wonderful. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you're here. Me too. as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. Ooh, we're special, know, chat. It's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. I wish I was over there. Oh, shit. It's about to get real. I wish you were too. <sighs> we could sit outside. We could talk. I mean, we are <laughs> talking. Radio. Oh, dang. There's a fire a-brewing in her pants. What? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. Ooh. We're going to have to call on the fire crew for that fire she's got going downtown. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. Huh. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew oh, I keep forgetting to take pictures. And, um, I should have taken a picture of the fire. It riles up the wildlife. Huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Huh. Come on, please. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the... Uh, D, I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh... There's... 
Woods. Something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That's that weird. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? Uh find and eat any mushrooms did you i mean they can be fun but also you know devastating there's a radio out here regardless just let me oh shit what the fuck oh my god what the wow that scared the shit out of me henry are you there what happened henry i, I just, oh my I got hit god my punched or something by someone are you serious what the hell is going on out there i don't know jesus christ <sighs> let me get this straight you found a clipboard with what transcripts of our conversations what else is on it i don't know it's gone along with the radio of theirs somebody out here could have just killed me delilah jesus <sighs> i don't what the fuck is going on what's wapiti station i i i i don't know I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks oh like there should be a trail my somewhere god. On the I was lake. trying to fish and I just I'll, threw my fishing uh, pole in the way. water. <laughs> damn it, my head. Are you, are you uh. sure? off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you this just oh this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something there are people listening to our conversations the person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here what the fuck d i don't know henry this sounds crazy yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. I'll hike out there and get some answers. Great. But just keep a clear head. Don't, you know, do anything crazy. Uh, like taking a job in the middle of nowhere with literally no escape from whatever or whoever is out there? Well, well I meant, like, kill anybody. You got well, it, boss. that too. I'm hiking through the canyon. Which way is my best bet for getting to Wapiti Meadow? Looks like you can find a trail on the north shore of Jonesy Lake, towards the west. Thanks, D. Towards the west. Oh, on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. So I don't want to be in the canyon. Right? Because the, the lake behind me is Jonesy. Yep. <clears throat> That was really, like, that made me ink a little bit. Oh, yeah, by the way, guys, if you didn't know, we have a new donation alert. Anything over $20 triggers the, the $20 made me ink donation alert. Even though we got to reclip the sound. But it's still there. It exists. I should do a test donation so you guys can hear it. Uh, is this the right way? Wapiti Wapiti Station. Okay, so I need to go this way. Nice. 
That seems weird, right? Alright, I'm here. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Yep. Okay. Um, I've, I've given it the good college try. Uh, no dice. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, okay. actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Wait, where are they at? Oh my god, I gotta go all the way down there? Wow, we. Um. Okay, that's what to the south east? Can't jump that? Are you sure? Southwest, we need to get. Oh, wait, there's another thing here. I swear I was hearing a noise. I was like, What is that? What kind of critter is that? Right, let's open this up. Uno, dos, three, four. updated another note ron got some bad news back home so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while who's to say though budgets being what they are did you get my note about what went down at wapiti sheriff isn't too pleased with me but i don't know uh i probably overdid it wish you would have been there i guess you must have got hung up dave p.s amigos is spanish and professionals is italian Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance that they had anything to do with those girls disappearing? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Oh, nice. Um, okay, so we gotta follow I guess the trail we're on. Okay, I just wanted to verify there wasn't like a shortcut there. there definitely wasn't. Nope, definitely not one. Nope, those are all those are all trees. Any 
she said that there was a fire line. So I'm guessing... I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? Huh. Wait, um... Guess we should probably just drop down this one. Still headed in the right direction? Yeah. I know how to use a compass. I wonder if there's anything new inside the supply cache. You think it's locked? Or did I leave it unlocked forever? It's unlocked forever. That's not the right direction. Is there a trail that I missed? I don't see one. Um, so I guess I didn't really want to come down this way. I need a GPS. I can't use this old this this old technology. Give me a computer. Tell me where to go. I don't actually know what this dotted line is. Is that the direction that I've walked from? I don't know. I think maybe I just head down into this clearing and see if I can find a way to cut over. Seems like the most logical idea in my brain. Okay, can't go that way. It's the direction I need to go. This looks like a compass that you would get out of a box of cereal. It doesn't look like it would actually give you very good directions. Hey, what's to the south of here? Um, Mexico? Huh. Is this some sort of riddle? I just have a nice view to the south. You know, trees and mountains forever. Well, eventually you wander into the area overseen by Chimney Rock Lookout, but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain. So this is back at the campsite where the girls were. Not at all where I need to be. Okay, I definitely just gotta go back. I 
I didn't realize so much of this game was going to be navigation. I, I guess I was thinking that there was going to be more like fast travel ability. Which doesn't make any sense because you're out in the woods and there's no way to teleport IRL. But, you know. Oh my god, Frank. It's a heckin' snore right there, bud. Uh, okay, I think I need to climb back up that rope that I came down off of. Wherever that is. Here I was thinking I was going the right way. I was feeling all cocky. There we go. Work on those muscles. It's all upper body strength. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. Yeah. It's nothing, I promise. <clears throat> All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. It's always on my hip. Hey, wh what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah. Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground, kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Yeah. Henry. That's what I was thinking. It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Hey, there's a snack in here. I'm probably going to eat it. You definitely do not want to do that. Whatever's in there has been in there for years. That's how you get food poisoning. Eating it anyways. And it was delicious. All right, uh, southeast. All right, this is the right way. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like Me feeling neither. vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. Uh, you don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Wait, where was this fire that I was seeing? Why don't I see it anymore? That sucks. I missed my dialogue opportunity there. Whoa, the June fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. All right, time to hip-hop our way across the river.
<clears throat> Map updated. Oh wow, this one's like really loaded up. It's got books and toilet paper. Oh, there's another note. Ron, really wish the powers that be could issue us radios that don't suck ass. Most of the time, I'd prefer to keep the thing pen to pen and paper, but every once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. Been sitting on the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter of the way through the bo this bottle of fives instead. Miss you, Dave. Dave and Ron's got like a real friendship going. Uh, okay. Where are we trying to get to? So we should just be able to follow this trail in. It looks like. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra oh. appreciative of that. Well, that's nice of them. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. <laughs> Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. What is this? There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. It's not even a deep pond. Back to civilization. Oh wait, there's another one over here. I wonder if there's stuff on them. You got anything neat on your snowmobile? <clears throat> Guess not. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah. Uh. Yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Hey, here's the scout Pork camp. Pond. There used to be a sign up for it. Pork but, Pond? Uh, well, folks kept stealing it. Pork Pond is a great name. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den. Or, <laughs> you know, anywhere. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm going to walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Well, heck. Well, heck what? There's a, a tree here that looks like it's been cut. Can I knock it down? Can't thaw out more chicken because we don't have any more. Well, heck. We just got groceries, too. Look at all these trees looking just prime for walking across. Okay. Okay. So there's nothing this way, so maybe it's on the other side of the bridge? So I was gonna walk the ravine. I like that he wrote on the map, pork pond, lovely. Entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Hmm. 
because I need to be going along the trail to the, the campground. And I can't actually get up any of these rocks right here. for a way across the ravine. Well, there must be one. I mean, the firefighters made it from that camp to Ruby River. Oh, God. Total pole. Whoa. I'm at the camp. Great. Have a look around. If, if anyone's still there, they might be able to help. Gonna sound crazy. Maybe you just ask him to help you get inside the fence. If I didn't know it was out there, they probably don't either. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. <laughs> For the past 35 years, yeah. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's <laughs> messed up. books all over the place there's pot roast but I'm going to guess you don't want that again uh yeah I don't want pot roast if you want pot roast I will eat it but I really would prefer not to eat pot roast because this looks like a uh, one of the stations Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Hmm. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Uh... Say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti oh. Station. Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station. Wapiti what? Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there. Let the mystery percolate. Huh. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Us. They're researching us. That's what it seems you, like. You think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about... Studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Is there oh, tools? Fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, yeah. I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. I got an axe now, though, so it's either going to work out for me or work out for them. <clears throat> Seems weird that the firefighters would have left this here, but I digress. Hey, I can knock down these trees now. gonna whoppity walk over you know what I'm saying so maybe I can just use the axe to get uh, get into the fence area are you there I, I had a thought okay let's hear it you heard someone in the bushes Yes. Yeah. Well, I felt somebody because they okay, knocked so me out. Let's assume we're being tailed, or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. 
All right. So, uh, tell me what you think of this. What the fuck? Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Uh oh. Oh fuck. oh, fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Well, what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Okay. Spooky. It's starting to feel real creepy, guys. Look at those legs. Tower, oh, baby. Two forks calling you for the oh, 50th time today. The June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sun up. How are you so chipper? <laughs> well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know... Have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Explore the flora poster. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Let me the look log, at it and I'll log tell you. Pine? No. You don't need to tell me, just um internalize it. It's it's a great tree. And there's an area called um that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. In my sector, Lodgepole Pine. Wait, which? I don't understand. Oh, the cottonwood tree. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Um, Cottonwood Creek, okay. We can do that. It's easy enough. Which was south, south, uh, east-ish. So we need to go like this way. Right? Was it southeast? What a lovely day for a nice hike. All by ourselves in the woods without a radio. Definitely nobody following us or listening to our conversations. Just a good old day. Just a lovely Lovely day hike. <laughs> it's 
So I need to get th through this area and then I'm going to my east this way. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Oh, this is the cottonwood tree. What the fuck was that? I'm like super sketched out now. There's a ski here. Okay, so we're gonna go to the creek. Sure is pretty. Now what are we doing? Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's five six seven eight. Are you five six seven me? eight? I was in a rush. Chicken parm? Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, I found it. Update our map. Beauty. New radio. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? Are you okay? I don't know, Henry. People have been listening to us all summer. How is this actually yeah. happening? I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm scared. None of it makes any sense. Wait, why isn't it letting me? I just changed clothes laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Whoa. The fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. Yeah. You need Chop to get into that site. Chopping down Call a fence. Find something. Okay. Uh, to the lake. Hey. Uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. Whoa. Oh, shit. Am I too late I here to exactly. uh, the new you made me ink? My now, internet came out. Oh no, I haven't. Transcript of that entire I haven't played it yet. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Whoop. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. OK. 
Okay, we'll drop down here. Wait. Wait. Drop down here. This should take us towards the lake. And then we can cut back around behind the lake. Oh, you know what? There's the uh, the fence in the inside the cave we might be able to get to, too. Oh my god, I love it. Isn't it great? Let me double check to make sure we're still headed in the right way. I guess it doesn't matter which way I go. Wait, this is south. So we don't want to go that way. Okay, we'll go this way. Don't stare at the sun. That took me 10 minutes to type my new internet doesn't like Twitch. Huh. Why is everybody having internet issues all of a sudden? You guys need to, you guys need to get your internets fixed. That's coming from somebody whose internet is like constantly broken, it feels like. I want to say that there was another tree by Wapiti that... Wait, do I need to go? I need to go back this way. I did this the last time, too. Looking up all sorts of new ways to internet. Oh yeah, you moved, right? How did that go? How was the move? I guess I'm asking you questions and you're having difficulties typing, so that probably doesn't help much. Move is good. Just got a tour of the base today and where I'll be working. Awesome. That's super exciting. Prying it open. Here we go. Well, that was easy. Smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay, then. Ow. If you're trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th to October 15th. University owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is all in a controlled area. Any issues or malfunctions or violations should be reported immediately. The internet and coldness is the only big adjustments. Hiya. I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. I just figured I would know it when I saw it. Oh, there's like a radio tower right here. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20 foot tall transmission tower. I mean, they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Yeah. And there are all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm. Not really up on high tech. Well, there's nobody here. It's just tents and equipment, and yeah, that's it. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. Okay. 
They're tracking something. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my, our, people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. Okay, so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? Uh... I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe another couple that's out here? Do you have any ideas? It's just you and me, Henry. Yeah, I know. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. So they live and work in the same tent? Yeah, it's all one operation. <laughs> like us. What is this thing? Like us. Oh, whoa. Follow the beeping? Okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. Is it something inside of the tent? Subjects Henry and Delilah? Weird. Are you shitting me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? They're assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, did, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Think about it. Delilah. What? Think about it. I am, and I think it's insane. They'd be fucked. Yeah, and how about if that fire comes up the mountain, or someone were to die in it? We call it in? We call it in? Oh my god. Yeah, maybe. Oh my god, Delilah, no. No way. Well, Biff. maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Definitely not. Ah, so fucking wound up! It's all right. I'm just going to hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Yeah, yeah, This place just it feels like there's bad shit afoot, you know? It's sterile. Dead. Just get out of there. You never have to come back. I'm nervous. I'm worried I'm going to run into somebody. There's three other people that are out here. I'm wondering where they're at right now. Oh no, no, oh. no. Whoa. Ooh, I thought I was really screwed there. Um, Delilah, there's smoke coming from the site. I just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? Call it in. We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. 
We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, right. I, I don't know what to do about that. Yeah, I, I think we just. Uh... Get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Oh, okay. Well, that just happened suddenly. Oh, look, all the notes that I've kept, it puts up here. I didn't realize that. This receiver just picked something up. Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It just picked up a fre frequency? Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. All right, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! Good plan. I'm a good planner. <laughs> my thinking is, I could stay up all night worried I'm gonna lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is, I'm gonna follow this wave receiver. Good idea. Oh, I like it when you think. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. <laughs> oh my god, following this beep is gonna drive me crazy. God, that scared me. Oh, that's for the cave. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, and basics. But it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's, there's also a set of keys here. Now, I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452... Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with the half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Right, right. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire hasn't spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. True. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you? No. It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. What? I, I don't understand why I'm running towards my tower if there's somebody in the tower that is not me. I don't see anyone up here. He was just there. Oh no. Oh. They're still recording these radios. It's a tape of us talking down at the site. It Sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and 
it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No. B, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? Okay, next day. I feel like I need to get to the bottom of this. I don't know if I can not finish this game tonight. Us. You're the boss. I was just... What? Following orders? But you know I didn't start this fire. So you just tell him the truth, right? That's all you can do. Right? Yeah. I suppose you're right. I know. <laughs> I suppose you're right. I know. Okay, nobody's in my outhouse. That's good. Down to the cave. At least the cave is just a short jaunt from our lovely lookout tower. Hey, you... Uh, you didn't actually make that call, right? To, to be at our lookout? It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just, they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not going to happen, though. Thanks, Henry. Yeah, we're still friends. Until I find out that you've been lying to me. Yeah. Force that key in there. Jesus, this is a big cave. Oh, that's good. Yep. Yeah, just purposely cause a, uh, a cave in, in a cave that you don't know while you're alone. No, that's a good idea. I like it. Freezing in here. Is anybody down there? It's a shoe. God, this cave is huge. Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone no. slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No, th 
There's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Holy crap, I'm like way out here now. So I need to go south. The only way back through is through the cave, it looks like. Unless there's another trail somewhere. Definitely not that way. Alright, maybe we have to go out this way and then back and around? Oh, what the fuck? Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. Oh, wow. Wait. Backpack retrieval plan. I didn't mean to throw that. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Oh, wait. Oh, kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Oh, yeah, anchors. Sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. Yeah, but not smarter than yours truly, right? <laughs> Wait, are you seriously feeling threatened by the intelligence of a 12-year-old you've never even met? I'm yeah. just saying I'm pretty, uh, you know, with it. I'm a pretty bright ball. Wizards and wyverns? Yeah, Henry, you're a regular Rhodes Scholar. Nice. Gladys, Gladys Silva, chaotic good half-elf ranger, level four. A half-elf ranger that uses two hands? Interesting. Armor class is seven. Yoosh. You're gonna be hurting, friend. We're gonna we're gonna keep the character sheet. Huh. Brian stole his dad's climbing gear. His anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was gonna hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. It, Sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. Can I hang these up? God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. Oh, they go up here. Wait, where did that go? I wanted to put it back. He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband which gives him superpowers. <laughs> it's a little weird that he'd just leave so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost right, let's go got back busted. to the cave. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was going to bring him back to. Oh, I can't go up this way? Ended up mattering. What's my... Explore deeper into the cave. 
Yeah, but I can't get back into the cave. Why won't you let me back in? Alright, so I guess I still need to go out and around. Now we can anchor into new spots. Got it. What do you think is in there? I don't know, really. I mean, we gotta find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. They closed the door when they could have just bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? No, I think I'm probably good. Bring on jail. Right. You'd probably just get probation. I'd be the one stuffed away in the Lusk women's prison for the next ten years. That sounds lovely. Going the right way still? Oh, uh, also, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. Oh. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh, landed in jail. Oh. <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. Yeah. We've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say. Yeah, no kidding. Anything new in here? No, go back in the box. Why? Here. Oh, oh, close it. It's only polite. Let's do this again. Round two. I think that my axe has been like an everything tool now. How did anybody else climb down in this cave though? It's not like they're superheroes. I like that they mark the areas that you can drop down from with like a slightly different colored rock. So you know for sure. Oh, whoa. Oh, shit. Are you... Oh, God. You're Brian Goodwin. Oh, that poor kid. Sad. Wait, why can't I run? Climb out of the cave and report the body. Okay. It's a huge cave. <laughs> it's 
It's like from the movie The Descent. Don't say that. This wasn't meant to be uh, Monster Monday. This is Walkthrough Wednesday. <clears throat> we do that on a different day of the week. Oh no. Hey D. Oh, that seemed awfully bright. I thought it was a fire. Hey, I am. Uh, I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. About what? You're freaking me out. He's in there. What are you saying, Henry? The only thing in the cave is Brian. He's dead. His body is in the cave, Delilah. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... What? I don't... <sighs> How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm-hmm. I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. What do we do now, D? I I mean, are you okay? No, I'm not. He'd be alive if I had told I, someone he was out here. I'd like that uh, where he'd be, you can still hear Franklin in the background. You, it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I there's 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 nothing to say. Hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Day seventy nine. Pick pack up your belongings. Is this a short game? Yeah, I think it's almost over. It said the average play time you is. That uh, uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot this is like four the hours. Says this thing is two percent contained. Well, is this the June fire or the site fire? Or... Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec? You know about things. About what? We still don't know who was listening to us, who was following me around, who made that tape. Yeah, all we have is the body of a dead boy who did nothing wrong. But maybe we can still find these people. Look, I think whoever is out there caused the site fire to cover their tracks, and I'm almost certain that when I get off the helicopter, I'm going to be led into a room and made to listen to a tape of me saying we started it. Yeah. And we don't know shit. What can I do? Well, there's something for you to do. Holy shit. Holy crap. Yeah, uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, Whoever made the tape. Okay, yeah, um, look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. I was hoping you'd have a backup plan or something. Yeah, um, okay, I'm probably gonna move to Canada. Ontario, huh. maybe. No, I meant if something happens to me. Right, if you don't find out who made the tape and I have to hit the road. Forget it. Be safe, Henry. Huh. Alright. Let's track down this final beeper, or at least what I'm assuming is the final beeper. Seems super dangerous just to go wandering out into a burning forest.
Like just going out into the middle of a clearing. What's your status? I think I'm getting close. All right. Well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's it's just. Brian. I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north, far, past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. Got no time for that. I'm looking for beepers. It's like the worst scavenger hunt ever. Must have went past it. Another cassette tape. Yeah, hi, Henry. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. Get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave for crock's sake. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell, and I ran out of books. But I got uh... that antenna rigged up. Surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. Oh. He's gone D deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. B. Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. He's got a, a, a survival bunker with radios and everything. He made it all up. Y you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. He could see my lookout. Interesting. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. Okay, so I have to get to. I have to get north of here? Oh, 
Okay. Boy, we got a... We got a ways to go. need to start heading north and find the trails that are north of here. I know I should be relieved. Relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. Sad. I think I think that Ned loved him. I don't want to hear it. He he obviously didn't want to forget him. He just okay. didn't know what to do. Henry, not knowing what to do isn't okay. When you're supposed to look after someone, you You figure it out. Yes. And Ned Goodwin is a shithead who is incapable of figuring anything out. Sorry. It would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. You didn't do anything wrong. You said it yourself. It was Ned's job to look after him. Yes, I did. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. <laughs> Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey! No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. <sighs> Wait, just wait, okay? I'm not that far. Henry, they're here. They're waiting right now. That's fine. Have them wait a little longer. Please. Henry, I don't... I don't want to meet you and just sit here in a dead boy's shadow. Okay? I, I don't want to do that. I know that sounds harsh. <sighs> okay, I'll wait. Yes. I'm not far. We're almost there. We're not far. It's pretty much just a straight shot up this trail. I still don't know how we haven't run into like an area that's cut off by the fire yet. think that well wait a second maybe I spoke too soon uh, can't tell if I went off the trail or not but we're still okay This is where 
This is where that kid had his that rigging set up for the backpack. Or maybe it was the dad. I need to like save my last picture. Oh, I'm all out of space. Oh, this is sketchy. Is that it? Is that the end of the game? Hold. Hold. Oh, I was like, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> nightmare out there. Hello? Kalila. She left. Damn it. Huh. That's the drawing she made of me. Anybody there? Hi. Y yeah, it's me. You're not here. No. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. I am. Well, I couldn't be out there another minute. Not another minute? Come on. Henry, how did you feel when you left Boulder to come out here? Like I couldn't get here fast enough. Exactly. That's how I felt for the past 24 hours. Well, I'm still mad. But you understand. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Okay. Uh, shit. So, taking stock. We found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. Okay. And we prevented Easy. one fire. Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Uh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me and I'll choose for you. Okay, deal. <sighs> All right, sure. Um, maybe. Maybe you could come back to Boulder with me and figure it out down there. Just, just a thought. You don't want me down there. Well, I just asked you. Look, I've got some things to do in Casper, and maybe I'll head south sometime after that. I could come by, sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Awkward. So, what about me? I think you should go to Julia. 
and then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Would you? Henry, I... <sighs> Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. You're right. I mean, I think you're right. Good. When I get back, maybe I could have done. We shouldn't focus on this summer. The next year will roll around, and then the year after that, and then it's just a... Uh, I don't know. My Aunt Judy called it a pause in the hallway of time. The hallway of time. Did your Aunt Judy smoke a lot of pot? <laughs> yeah. Well, you should try to take her advice, too. Yeah, we'll see. There's the helicopter. They'll land back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. You too. Good luck. No. Henry, you keep it for yourself, okay? Bye, Hank. Hey, it's the pork pond sign. She stole it. Run to the helicopter, please. It's my last request. <sighs> we out of here. Later days, Firewatch. Finn. That's the end of the game. Took us almost exactly three hours. Shit, doggy. Time to put, put up a new pole. Yeah, I know. I didn't... I guess I wasn't expecting it to be that fast of a game. But there we have it. I like that Frank is sleeping behind me instead of in his dog bed so you guys can't see him. Uh, well, that wraps up uh, Walkthrough Wednesday. Appreciate everybody hanging out. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to follow, subscribe, like. Uh, check out the Twitch channel. Check out the Discord. Links for everything will be in the description. Um, so, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, get ready for the next one. Uh, there will be a poll in the Discord for the next game we play next Wednesday.